But we were reminded how fortunate it is that everybody can be here. We knew when we started planning this party for November in northern Wisconsin that everybody that RSVP said, weather permitting. <laughs> when we arrived um, on Friday, we realized it was the Christmas city of the North Parade. And Barry and I immediately had the same exact memory of playing clarinets and marching in freezing cold weather with icicles and it just was this very vivid memory and so we were really, really reinforced how fortunate it is that all of you were able to be here. We have relatives that have come from Chicago, friends and relatives that have come from Minneapolis, my aunt and uncle have come from Baronet, and we know just coming in Superior, sometimes you don't get across town on a November day. So we are really, really very happy to have everybody here and have this wonderful celebration uh, today. We also want to just wish my uncle happy birthday. He'll celebrate his 83rd birthday on Wednesday. So so happy. Happy. So. Well, Uncle Bill, is, as you know, has uh, taught me that we're, uh, you know, we were in the grocery business, and uh, I really learned a lot about where things were before they ever got to us from Uncle Bill, so uh, <laughs> we really have completed the chain uh, in so many ways, and plus going out to eat together and having a celebration like this is the first way to, to really honor my mother, because if there's one thing you'd like to do with Isabel is to go out to eat. <laughs> I think the oven was a great place to keep bread fresh. Okay? You put a loaf of bread in there and it lasts a week. It was it was great. <laughs> Josh, did you uh, I think you said you wanted to say a couple things. We have a couple folks that want to say something and then I'm gonna ask if anyone else wants to, to make any comments. Uh, uh, Josh was uh, our son and our daughter in law Renee, they were married a, a year ago last summer and just a returned surprise my mother on Thursday uh, after about 11 months in South Asia uh, traveling and touring and uh, working on organic farms and doing all those things your, your parents always dreamed you would do uh, <laughs> 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 but really it was quite an adventure and if you're a computer person uh, pastabroccoli.net is really really a wonderful <laughs> website to, uh, a chronicle of, of how to see the world in, in the 21st century. Uh, it's just marvelous, including, may I add, two fine writers uh, uh, who showed their stuff uh, on the uh, uh, on the web and, and certainly in the letters home and, and well, the emails home. Uh, <laughs> letters home, what's that? The postcards home. Postcards home. <laughs> so, Josh is the eldest uh, grandson. Okay, only grandson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. I'll do yeah, it. I do have a few words, but first I'll introduce, first of all, I am the grandson, Joshua, as he is, but I, I know you all know more about me than I want to think about, and so, uh, but I also want to introduce my wife, Renee, and uh, she has, um, she's the one who insisted we make sure we take every photo off the wall at home and find every, <laughs> unfortunately on the computer, there, she can only, she's only contributed to the last five years or so of, of digital photos, so there's 85 years and memories in, in here, but five years in digital photos, and uh, thank you very much. And you also uh, have a, a few words, so I'll let you go first. Yes. And then. Um, Grandma, I have a few words for you. I just want to say how um, thrilled and I, Josh, were to change our plans to be here today. This is, makes us so happy to see you so happy and to be here for such a special occasion, your 90th birthday. And um, from Toronto, uh, I've spoken to all my family since we've been back. Uh, my grandparents, um, you know my grandmother well, you, you two right I know, and my parents, my sisters, even uh, my godparents and cousins all send you really yeah. special wishes for your uh, 90th birthday, and they're all thinking of you today. And I just want to say that I am very proud to be part of this family. I thank you so much for making the trip to our wedding last summer. That meant so much to me personally. And um, I hope you're going to be around for a little while longer because if you know time permits, I'd like to help make you a great grandmother. We'll see about that. Okay. Rock on to that. I'm ready to be an aunt. <laughs> For me, I mean, it is a great pleasure to be here, especially because we weren't uh, expecting to be here when we made our, our plans. Our flight wasn't supposed to come home for another month, and uh, we had no idea about this, this party, and then we find out about it, 
Uh, but it's funny, Grandma has a way of knowing things, and it's been true, but uh, we left about a year ago, and I don't think this made Grandma completely happy, but she was also very supportive. And uh, she also, she wanted to mention, you know, if you are done, if you feel like you have seen everything you needed to see, you can always come home early. I said, okay, sure, Grandma, you know, that's, that's always possible, but, you know, it's also possible we'll need to keep going longer, and I never expected we'd come home early, because we have all these things we want to see. And then when uh, she found out we would not be at this party, she, she said, well, maybe you'll surprise me. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Grandma. We just, you know, we have our flight booked, nothing to see. And then those of you who read pastabroccoli.net or others might know fully why, but we started to really reconsider, you know, what, what are our goals, what were our dreams, and we realized we were done traveling. Grandma was right. We'd seen everything we felt we needed to see. And then we realized we could be here. And, uh, We'll thank British Airways for uh, making it very cheap to change your flight, but it was it was became a very easy decision that we could get home in time, we could be here, and it just it makes us so happy because you only turn 91, and we love coming to security, we love seeing you, and uh, I'm also I mean I have great memories growing up, and just wanted to share I mean I uh, thank you. So much. I mean, you taught me how to play cards. You taught me how to gamble, but you wouldn't actually take my money. And, and every time I play cards with someone else, and I, I shuffle, I don't even know how. I mean, I just shuffle, but I, I can do it almost as well as you. And uh, sometimes people are like, how did you learn how to do that? My grandma taught me. <laughs> what grandmas do, right? <laughs> uh, and I remember as we were going through finding some photos. Uh, there was a photo of Emily and me on the dock at a cabin in Gordon, Wisconsin. We went there many times, and uh, the, the dock looked a little bit, you know, more run down than I remember it in my mind, but I remember very well going there, and you and Grandpa would always come down, and you'd go fishing with me. This was like the greatest thing. You'd stand there, and I, I, can, I can still remember it, and uh, just coming to Superior and having breakfast with you, we will, I mean, before we drive home, I'm sure that we will be going out to breakfast, because every time, this is what we do. And then, it's been so wonderful, especially now with Renee, all of these old stories that have been told, they can get told again, and they're new for someone, and for me, <laughs> it's just so great to hear them all again, and so, there's, there's probably a million memories, and thank you so much for being such a wonderful grandmother, your love, your support, your generosity throughout the years, it's, it's made me feel like not just a special grandson, but a special person. And so thank you, thank you very much. And